Hello, everybody. It's Zach from my new phone uh, with a wide-angle lens camera. And today, I thought we'd do something a little special. You all know my tuba here, my Schiller American Heritage tuba. I've had it for, I think, half a year now. Today, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try and give my horn a bath. So, we're going to take a little trip to the bathroom. Let's go. Yeah, the bathroom's just like, like five steps away from my bedroom. <laughs> so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our horn here and we're going to uh, take out all the slides and all the valves. So let's do that. So there's all the slides, and now I have to take out the valves, and it's important to keep them in order. Oh yeah, make sure you get the springs and the valve caps out too. So the tuba is fully emptied, there's no slides, there's no valves, no anything, like if I put the mouthpiece in. There's literally nothing. Nothing comes out of the bell or anything. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna fill the bathtub. And what I've heard, you want some nice room temperature water, not too hot, not too cold. There we go. Put in the plug. Let it fill. Let's put some dish soap in there as well. Maybe spread it around a bit. And then once you're ready, just slowly place the tuba in the bathtub. You want to go nice and slow. Make sure don't do any damage to the instrument or the bathtub. So as you can see, I have the tuba placed in here. I'm going to put each slide number in a specific place so I don't, you know, forget which slide goes in what hole. So my number four slides are here, number three slides, number two slide, and number one slides. Make sure water gets into everything. Everything. You wanna clean the dirt and stuff out of every section of the horn. I'm gonna leave this for a minute and uh, I'll get back to you when it's filled up. So the tub is uh, pretty much fully filled. I could fill it some more. I probably will. As we speak, the water and the detergent, the soap, it's cleaning out the inside of the horn. And as you can see, or may not be able to see, the slides are there, but the bath is going pretty good so far. Now what I'm gonna do, this is kind of a risky move, I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try and uh, turn the tuba over. So I'm just gonna grab it here. Oh, it's gotten a lot heavier. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Now the tuba is successfully flipped over to its back side. Gonna splash it around some more. I'm actually gonna fill the tub a little more. No, not the shower, the tub. We're running out of warm water. Just getting more in the bell. I'm gonna do this for a couple more minutes, and then I'll pull it out and try and put it back together. And now this is one of the more tricky parts of cleaning a tuba. It's emptying it out and getting it out of the bath. Let's do it. First, what we need to do is actually just drain the bathtub. If I can find the drain. There it is. Just let that drain. And then when the tub is not all the way drained, but somewhat drained, uh, you can turn on the shower and rinse all of the bubbles off. 
Still in the tuba, there is a gargantuan amount of water, so we have to drain all of that out. As you may notice, it's a lot heavier. Yeah, it's quite heavy now. What we're gonna do uh, is what I like to call the Chuck Dellenbach maneuver, because he does the thing where he flips the tuba. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do a bunch of times until all the water is drained out. And when you're doing this, be very careful not to damage the tuba or your bathtub. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Starting to get lighter now. Okay, most of the water is emptied. I'm actually going to give this thing one last quick rinse because the bell is still full of soap. Now we have to flip it even more. Oh boy. Now watch, look how much water is gonna come out of this bell. Yeah. Okay, so now there's no more water in the tuba. Now what we're gonna do is set it on this towel to let it dry. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the tuning slides and essentially washing them out. Yeah. And then kind of wipe it dry with a rag. I've already got all the slides down here except for one. I'm gonna just do the second valve slide real quick. And there. Another thing we need to do is we need to uh, wipe the horn dry manually with another rag and that's what I'm going to do right now And then for the really small spots in between that you can't really see Use a tissue or something. I can really get into those those little spots there another thing i want to do before we put it back together is clean these springs look how dirty these springs are plug this get some water running put some dish soap in there and now is the fun part reassembling oiling and greasing the instrument. I already put the valve caps on. And the next step, put the springs in. And now we're going to oil the valves. In my opinion, the best way to do it is to put the valves in you might notice they're kind of already lubricated. That's because of the water. But they'll move much better when we put oil on it. But yes, I put the valves in. And then get the oil out. 
and then just kind of turn it around until it's, you know, oiled enough. And you don't have to use too much oil. That's a common misconception. You never have to use too much oil. All right, the valves are all oiled. They're working fine. Perfect. And now, this is the most time consuming part of uh, assembling a tuba, in my opinion, is greasing the slides. All right, last slide here. It's the top first valve slide. Uh, and in my opinion, this is the most important slide. So I'm gonna grease it up pretty good. There we go. I have successfully given the tuba a bath. Last thing that's left to do is to see how well it plays after I've given it a bath. feels a lot better it sounds a lot better to me i'm actually quite glad i gave this thing a bath and it was long overdue but yeah now that i know what to do and how to do it i can do this a lot more often um and that's good uh you know you got to practice good maintenance for your instrument and that's the thing anyways when all said and done you got to perform good maintenance on your instrument if you want to be clean and well functioning and i'm so happy i got to do this um so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see me clean even more instruments, I do have a lot more instruments, um, then feel free to give it a like. Um, if you want, you don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. And now my favorite part, cleaning up. Should probably put the tube in the case first. What?